Today is 11 December 2019, and this is Rock Pelsy News. Yesterday again, the ex expert technicians at WebZen have completed a successful restart and maintenance on the servers. And with the servers restored, we welcome back Christmas Van 2019 Christmas Valley. And for all the new players, returning players, or you just need a reminder, the Christmas Valley is accessible by two different NPCs. Snoozeberry if you're a loyalist, or Mulling Pears if you're a rebel. And this year we're gonna have four types of Christmas dungeons. We'll have one white Christmas Valley that will be accessible from level 20 to 149, three red Christmas Valleys available from level 115 higher, one black Christmas Valley, a harder dungeon available from level 115 higher as well, and one obsidian Christmas Valley. This year it will feature the new Obsidian Dungeon, which is even harder than the Black Dungeon, and also only available from level 150 and higher. Besides for the implementation of the total of 6 dungeons, that will probably avoid those places to be overcrowded, having the Christmas Valley Hunting License buff that expires after 1 hour will stop people from boat farming, what is a pretty awesome thing. Also, picking will be disabled, what may be able to avoid a lot of issues people have while farming event items. Now, let's take a look on what everybody wants to see. What are the prizes? Alright, so basically, what you'll be getting from the Christmas Valley? If you kill any monsters level 160 or less, you have a chance of then dropping the following items. Stamina Saver, 7 days. Hidden Village Pass, Character Bond for 7 days as well. Luck Potion, 3 days. And Godmother's Fairy Bottle of 7 days. Now, 161 and over is where the money is. You may be getting Stamina Saver, Animal Cracker, Lucky Potion, Godmother's Fairy Bottle, Creature Resurrection Spellbook, Power of Change Armor, Gladiator Potions, and Random Governor Armor Set at a low chance. Now between 161 and 175, you have at low chance to get a random circus weapon or accessory at low chance, and 176 and over, a random Island of the Forgotten Gods weapon or accessory at low chance. 180 and over, Yushva Necklace or Earring at low chance, Devil Dawn Shield or Mage Wall also at low chance, and for anybody ready to kill 202 and over monsters, Empty Arena Pet Card also at low chance. Now, looking at the boss drops, we're gonna be looking at Stamina Saver account bound, Animal Cracker account bound, Luck Potion account bound, Godmother's Fairy Bottle a character bound, Creature Resurrection Spellbook account bound, Power of Change Armor, Gladiator Potions, up to two random enhanced teardrops, up to five random pieces, random clay key, and Blast Power of Change. So, be ready guys, but just remember one very important thing, and it's something that always happens in events. You're always gonna have some Scrooges out there trying to spoil people's fun. So, remember, it is the holidays, so let's try to be nice to each other, and let's give people some space and chance to get all those drops themselves, alright? And guys, don't forget, Santa is paying extra attention with the guys at WebZen, and they'll be making a list and checking it twice for any type of toxic behavior coming from players during the event. So don't go complain later when you get yourself a lump of coal when you try to log to the game. And if you guys really want to compete with people, don't forget, Christmas Valley is a competition. So rebels and loyalists, go out there, grab those toys and bring to your elves and that the best team wins. Find the right channel is important. For some people, it's even more important. You search YouTube, good. You looked at your impressions and recommended videos, excellent. You try just about everything, and then a friend comes along and tell you about games you have never tried before. Now what do you do? Is BND right for you? Discuss with your friends. You just need to subscribe. 
and hit that notifications button so you know when new uploads are available. So subscribe to BND. Tools help us goals are based on real issues found in game. The names and locations were changed, and also the conversations. Okay, okay. 90% may not have happened this way, but the bugs are real. This is the help desk. What's your emergency? I'm trying to exit my mount, but I can't. Have you clicked on the dismount function? Yeah, but now me and my Lydian are stuck in place. Click on character select and then canceling the exit to the character selection screen. It worked! Thank you so much, help desk! This is the help desk. What's your emergency? I... I can't move my pet equipment from my inventory. Have you unequipped your pet? Uh, I don't even have a pet. Please, submit a ticket so we can look into it. This is the help desk. What's your emergency? Message after the beep? Beep! Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed and as always, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, hit that bell notifications button and I'll be seeing you guys again next week with another Rappelzi News.